Hey everybody, welcome back for another vlog. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, we're gonna start this one off with a wildland fire that South Metro responded to on Tuesday afternoon. And it was an automatic aid wildland fire, meaning it was outside of South Metro's district, but South Metro automatically responds to help out. The fire was in the West Douglas Fire Protection District and they border the southwest side of ours. And the fire was burning on top of a ridge line west of the town of Sedalia. There was already a lot of smoke visible. It was right around 6.30 in the afternoon. It could be seen for miles away. And as crews got closer to the scene, they realized there was actually two different fires. One was pretty small and it was extinguished and kept to just 50 by 50. The other fire burned almost five acres on top of the ridge line. And there weren't uh, any structures threatened, so there wasn't a need for evacuations, but Highway 67, which is pretty much the only way to get through that area, was closed for a few hours while crews were up there working. Brush engine 39, engine 40, West Douglas Fire, safety 18, Battalion Chief 1, small brush fire, map page, AH21D7225, Box Canyon, Engine 154, Brush 36, Brush 155, Medic 154, Tender 142, Brush Fire. Chief 131, engine 132, we do have eyes on the fire. Go ahead. Message. Hey, sir, with Metcom, Chief 131, we're going to go ahead and set up command at Mass Gulch and Highway 67. I'll assume command here for right now. I have uh, OEM 15, USFS, engine 131, and brush 131 on Saint. GNC 1 clear. Chief, I copy you. Taking command from Highway 67 and Mash Gulch. I have you assigned. Engine 132. Engine 132, stand by. Chief 131. I have you in command, Highway 67 and Mash Gulch Road. Confirming you're going to be in command of both of the incidents from your location. Is that correct? Well, I can get OEM 15 and USFS back down here. They are sizing up the Mash Gulch deal right now. Chief 131, engine, or command, engine 132. <coughs> command, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir, we are, we have eyes on the fire. It's engine 132. Yeah, it is yeah. at the top of the ridge. Engine 134. Thank you, I have uh, a battalion coming at you and OEM 15 to give me a size up. Do you have residents or houses in the area? That is a firm. We have a house on um, the 67 side, and then we also have a house directly uh, approximately a thousand yards to the west of it. Chief 131, that urgent track. Go ahead. Chief 131, we're getting multiple reports that the fire match coach is starting to torch in the trees. It is approaching on houses. Copy, I have one of your battalions up there supposed to be giving me a size up. Okay, just a heads up. Command, power 45. Can you go to my station? Set up water supply down there. Yeah, it's at the station right here, too. Command, my company. You say you wanted us to come down or you want us to stand by at that residence? Okay, I'll keep my food just for resources and I'll complete by charge of your own escape rounds. Man, go ahead. Go ahead. Man, I'm trying to get 
traffic from Engine 134, they're broken up. Can you confirm that the fire is out on match boats and that they're working hot spots? We didn't have any fire suppression aircraft available to help battle the fire, but the Colorado Department of Fire Prevention and Control had their multi-mission aircraft available, and they flew over the fire scene to help us map it and figure out where the hottest parts of the fire were so that the ground crews could focus on those areas. The really great thing about that is they email their video and map files to us, so the incident command post can view everything that the airplane saw. So here's a look at the infrared video that they took, and they were able to measure that the fire burned just shy of five acres. We stayed well after uh, nightfall. In fact, South Metro crews didn't get released until close to midnight, and the Douglas County Office of Emergency Management stayed on scene through the night. They monitored conditions and worked on reinforcing the containment line. And then on the second day, on Wednesday, basically from sunup until sundown, there was 20 firefighters on scene from West Douglas, and we had one of our subject matter experts on wildland from South Metro on scene as the incident commander, and they worked to get 100% containment and extinguishment on the fire then. Over the next two weeks, South Metro firefighters have the opportunity to do some commercial structure fire training in the city of Greenwood Village in our district. And the best part is we get to work with agencies that we run on calls with on a regular basis. And that includes Castle Rock Fire Department, Aurora Fire Rescue, as well as West Metro Fire. So the crews get to work together on a bunch of different levels. And that way, when they get on scene together with these calls, they can make sure they're communicating effectively they're running through the different levels in terms of maybe strategic, task, and tactical, and they're all on the same page. And it's everything from the chief level all the way down to the firefighters, making sure everyone is working together uh, in those situations. Fire in the northeast corner, multiple victims in that area. Fire will be on the first.
Yeah, yeah. 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 It's that time in the vlog where we get to do patch shout outs and also a challenge coin shout out. So this patch, we love trading with all of you and we're so thankful, but this one has come from the farthest place away so far. Bill from the United Kingdom sent this from Cambridgeshire Fire and Rescue. And he wrote us a great note saying he first wore this when he started as a firefighter 40 years ago. He's now retired. So Bill, thank you so much for sending this to us. We can't wait to add it to our collection. Yeah, it's really great. Thank you so much. Uh, the challenge coin that I have is US Marine Corps. So that's the first military one that we have. That's really cool. And then uh, three patches, Stanford Fire Department in Connecticut and then Turn of River Fire Department, also from Stanford, Connecticut, and the Connecticut State Certified Firefighter Patch. So these are great, and they're gonna be going up on the wall today. Thank you so much for those. If you've been following along with our Fire Academy series, thank you so much for tuning into those. As you know, we wrapped up with week 16, the recruits graduated, but there will be one more video coming your way, going more in depth on recruitment, as well as the Academy experience and what that's like. And now that the Academy series is coming to an end, we're gonna bring back the unscripted videos. So we'll have a new unscripted this month during August, and we'll have a new Fleet Friday coming your way as well. It'll be one of our aerials in the fleet. And uh, we really appreciate all of the support you give us, all of the comments, all the feedback, it's fantastic. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you wanna get updates when we have a new upload, then hit that subscribe button for us and uh, we'll see you again soon. See you guys.